Hello guys, this is uh, my latest uh, hardware acquisition. Uh, let's say this is almost everything. Uh, it's technology from 25 years ago. Let's say 1999, 98, depends on what component, but uh, I bought this, most of it, the, the PC box, not the, the, the display, I already had it. Quite a good display, by the way, an LG Flatron. But this one I bought a couple of weeks ago for 50-something euros. Uh, it came with this uh, CD player, quite a good one. A CD and DVD recorder, very good one. An original floppy drive. The discs, I, uh, I have them there. But... That's what it came with. Uh, another enclosure, what it was a bit uh, old, so I changed that. And I added a couple of things. One is a GoTek floppy drive emulator that will store up to th a thousand uh, floppy images in a single USB. You can change the the mounted uh, image with these buttons. And even if you don't see, apart from that GoTek floppy drive, I have a small micro SD here in a slot which can be taken out and mounted elsewhere this is this is the the actual hard drive now so there is a circuit in there which will emulate the IDE the old style uh, hard disks using this micro SD so you can easily change and put other images other operating systems and all that. Uh, right now, this is a FAT32 with Windows 98 second edition with some uh, patches and my own configurations and all that. And well, that's externally. Internally, let's say, well, that's also internal, but internally, I changed the. It came with a G4, no, uh, with a Radeon uh, video card which was quite modern for my taste and I changed that from for a Voodoo 3 3000 AGP card, AGP slot or AGP bus card. Again, Voodoo 3 3000, quite a good one for the end of the millennium and the start of the new millennium, let's say. And also I, I changed, uh, well, it has an onboard uh, sound card, but I don't like that. So I put there a Yamaha... IMF uh, 719E or something like that. The thing is, it's a Sound Blaster Pro compatible card, but it has an OPL3 chip, which is a very good chip, chip to have. Uh, some of the Sound Blasters, uh, which I could have used, I, I have a couple there, but some of the Sound Blasters do have OPL2 and OPL3 chips, but... Uh, most of them not, not easy to to find those, so I I end up uh, using a Yamaha IMF seven nineteen one with a, a proper OPL three chip. Yamaha is the one that made uh, you know OPL chips are uh, from Yamaha, and that's what I used. I also added a network card, PCI card, uh, Ethernet or even gigabit Ethernet. Not assuming it will it will go very fast, but uh, at least I, I can do some maybe LAN parting or or uh, easy downloading from the network or whatever. Uh, let's turn it on. Let's turn it on. I have tripod here, but. So it's booting. Uh, by the way, it's a Pentium 3, 800 megahertz uh, with 256 gigabytes of RAM. As I said there. Yeah, that's. So this is the drive emulator. I don't know why it says this, but. Let's restart this. Again, I, I had some things here and I didn't boot. 
it didn't boot because some floppy stuff okay so right now it's now it's put in properly again windows 98 uh, second edition with some late pay patches as you see again this is a small slot here with a small lead also but this uh this is the hard disk okay the hard disk storage in a small micro sd card there and this is the go tech now it's uh, this is booting let's see it takes a while because there is something installed there that makes it boot a bit slower but so that's it a small pair of uh, speakers those are newer uh, so this is a regular windows 98 even if it looks like a millennium because the of the icons it looks like a millennium edition windows 90x but it's a 98 second edition okay so here's the floppy drive this is the gotek which will simulate any of those images this is the real floppy drive the hard disk which is the micro sd uh, in this case a 64 uh, gigabyte one this is the cd reader cd recorder and this is a virtual cd uh, using the da daemon tools okay to in order to mount uh, cd rom images and you know install games or whatever so let's uh, fire some some of my five favorite games back in the day uh, this one is very good this is a, an ms -DOS game ms -DOS game not accelerated but okay it had a very good music this one Playing with a single hand is not a, an easy task, but... They will circle me. These uh, demonic creatures. Okay, okay. Come on. Come on. Again, I'm, I'm playing with two hands, so... Okay. Yellow key card. Maybe I'll up the volume a bit. These games were dope. I mean, this is similar to Doom using a Doom engine, but uh, the, the atmosphere is really good here. Secrets, good music.
Crossbow. The atmosphere in this game really, really good. So I know I'm missing secrets and all that, but. One hundred, guys. That was the first level. Something left, but anyway, let's quit here. Uh, let's quit game. Yes. Let's go to, for example, another one that we loved. I have some of them here. Uh, Screamer, Screamer Two, those, but. Uh, they are not properly installed yet, so another one of the uh, of the ones we loved a lot, me and my brothers, cousins. This one uh, was a Spanish Spanish development.
So yeah, that was it. Uh, maybe a little bit of Quake. This is a mini GL or GL Quake based on latest mini GL with fog emulation and uh, you know the incandescent things, weapons, fires, lava, whatever have a like a red orb of gloom, whatever it is. Let's see if it boots. So, uh, come on, guys. Some shitty thing. I don't know why it doesn't start, but maybe I started two, two, two of them. Come on. I don't know why this happened now. Okay, in, in any case. So, I don't know. What's going on here? Control. Okay, shut down. Now, it, it seems it started. Yes. Oh my god, okay. I don't know what happened there. Starting again, I just wanted to show you one last thing. One last thing, which is what made me learn a lot about computer architecture, even before going to uni and later years. What it started it all was a piece of software that is, it's actually installed here. And yeah, that, that made me and made us a lot of people uh, learn about uh, you know IA32 uh, or IA, IE32 or however it is it said okay so uh, what I mean it's uh, 386 or 32-bit uh, Intel architecture right uh, IA32 would be uh, So here it is. If I press Ctrl D, well, this is not my configuration. My typical configuration would be like something like Windows 8, 8 Windows Code 32, uh, more or less. So this is Softies. This is actually a version that. Uh, it wasn't very orthodox, so to say. This is, I mean, the latest Win9, Win9X 95, 98 or Millennium Edition version would be Softice, Softice 405, but in this case, this is another one. And yeah, uh, it, this is like the very latest version, which is not official, but uh, taken from from a hidden version of driver studio where you know driver studio so the thing is numega which made the soft ice sold it to compuware and compuware included it in a suite called driver studio but that was mostly for nt 2000 and xp or 2003 versions of windows not for 9x although the, the earliest version did work for 9x but this one is like a quite a modern driver studio version, which hiddenly it has a version for 9x, and somebody noticed, made an installer, take took it apart and and you know delivered it. So this is like the very last you can very best version you can install for a Win 9x. That's it. And this was, you know, uh, as soon as you press Control D or have a breakpoint firing or whatever, uh, the system will freeze. No software, nothing will 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 be playing or running. And uh, with that, we, I mean, it's not like WinDBG. This is like very uh, easy, very effective, very comfortable, let's say, way of debugging a live machine. And... Uh, it made us. Uh, po it made it possible to 
to do lots of uh, debugging, cracking, reverse engineering. It was really good. Well, this booted now. As I said, this is a an GL Quake with fog and all that. So yeah, I wanted to show you this, but if I press Control D here. Well, this is garbled because this video mode is not uh, supported. But as you can see, the sound is repeating all the time. Why? Because the software that manages the sound card, the driver or whatever, is continuously uploading small chunks of sound to the sound buffer using DMA. The problem is, since we froze the operating system and any other uh, code running, only the, 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 the debugger is running, that small piece of sound uh, is repeating one, one and, and, and again, you know, because no new buffer is being sent. That's why this was typical with soft ties. If I press go and enter, then the, the sound continues to be fine, because the driver can upload the new parts of the sound. Anyway, let's go uh, get out here. Let's quit. Yes. But in normal Windows, if you do Control D like this, you will uh, get this stop, uh, and uh, well, all the system will be frozen. You can see processes. You can see uh, libraries, whatever. You can go to the address space of a given process, for example, uh, for example, 3DFX man, which is the manager for the, the GPU, the 3DFX Voodoo 3. If I do ADDR, which is address space 3DFX man, I am now in the address space of that process. I can do a lot of things. I can even do breakpoints that are not possible uh, nowadays, not even with soft ties in NT. Uh, those were normal breakpoints. Uh, breakpoints on interrupt, very useful in MS-DOS or DOS debugging, even in Windows debugging, because you know this Win9X uh, were all based on DPMI, which is DOS protected mode interface, which is 32 bit above 16 bits for some uh, you know, low-level stuff, calling BIOS, calling DOS, whatever. So they, there were some trampoline ways of using using uh, IA32 or Intel architecture uh, calgates to call to old 16-bit uh, code. All that was DPMI and, well, you know, uh, DOS extenders for games, DOS, G, uh, DOS for... GW from Watcom, C CWS DPMI from the DG, uh, DGJPP, which was another, uh, you know, development environment for C and C++. Those, all, of, all of those uh, extenders were using DPMI, and the Windows itself is using DPMI, Windows 9X. Well, with this you can use a VPN, VPint, and uh, fire on, on a given interrupt, for example, the MS-DOS interrupt, which is 21. Not uh, very common, but suddenly, there, I mean, uh, once in a while you will see that interrupt firing, for example, now. And you see this, in this case, we are in 32-bit code, but we are uh, going to... You know, to do an inter 21 set disk transfer address. And if you trace that, you can see we are no longer in 32 bit, but in 16 bits. You can debug, trace, whatever. There is also other breakpoints like uh, BPIO, not very typical nowadays. BPIO is using the IO map in the tasks in the 386 tasks or even 286 tasks to to you know to break on some uh, IO ports there is BPM which uh, still it's still used nowadays 
with any debugger, but things like, for example, BPR, which is breakpoint in range, things like this are not possible nowadays. Or no, well, they they are of course possible technically, but no, nothing will, no debugger will give you this kind of uh, powerful commands, let's say, or possibilities. Uh, BPT, BPX, those are normal, but BPR, BPIO, BPINT, there should still be possible, but you won't see them uh, supported. And this had them. This was a window to to a very comfortable way of learning about systems architecture, about, uh, you know, operating systems, anything. This is actually really, really good. Yeah, you could also you do like BPX on an export, for example, kernel 32, kernel 32, open file, for example, open file and then go and as soon as somebody does open file it should fire normally you would use create file even for opening so that's probably it why it doesn't fire right but Okay, I, I tried to run Quake again, and here we are. In this case, the BP int 1. I will clear the BP int 1. Let's list breakpoints. Clear BC0. Let's breakpoints again. Okay, let's continue. I, I don't know why <coughs> open file is not being used, but it should be firing, or I don't know. For example, let's clear everything. Let's clear point one BL BL. Okay, let's put a breakpoint in kernel thirty two exit process, for example. Uh, BPX. In this case, no BP. This is BPX. Okay, BL. There we go. So as soon as we start something and, for example, Notepad and close it, we should, of course, have a breakpoint. You see that Notepad kernel thirty two. This is exit process. This is orders of magnitude easier, more comfortable and convenient than anything you can find in WinDBG or, or any other debuggers today. Okay, guys, that was it. See you.